We have 15 feet of steel. The stakes are enormous, and it's all happening next. We have a real fan favorite against Curtis Axel. with excitement. Buzz is here. Making his way to the ring from Stillwater. Weighing in at 280 pounds. One half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, The Terror. Every superstar has a goal in WWE, and Buzz told me he's aiming high with his. He wants to have a career that one day is recognized with a spot in the WWE Hall of Fame. It's way too premature to start that discussion, but his career is definitely trending in the right direction for that to at least be possible. Very talented performer, multi-time champion. Tremendous pedigree for this young man, a third generation superstar. And all the confidence in the world. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh, oh he goes low. You're not cheating, you're not trying. One place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. An absolutely stellar performance the last time out, but you have to wonder if repeating that type of effort is even possible in back-to-back -back matches. Like you were saying, Michael, I think a lot of people are expecting great matches from these superstars each and every night. But I wonder just how fair it is to put that type of expectation on a competitor. Hey, life's not fair, Byron. That's just the way it is. I don't think it's too oh, much to expect somebody to do their job well 100% of the time. After all, they call it work for a reason. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. And sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do in order to survive. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? 
Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will be resolved within the 15-foot high steel walls that surround the ring. And that losing a cage match can mean much more than a mark in the loss column. For some, it has meant the end of their career. It's difficult to describe the damage that can be done to a superstar who competes in a steel cage match. We see the physical harm, but we don't see the psychological effects from being inside the cage. Make no mistake about it, Michael. The steel cage truly represents survival of the fittest. Guys, you would have to think there's a lot of pressure to follow up that amazing match the last time out. But if anybody could do it, it's this superstar. Oh, oh Benning heel kick. That'll rock anybody. Breaking the rules. Double axe handle. Corey, I want to get your take on what Byron was saying earlier. After having a great match, do you believe the pressure mounts to follow it up with another great one? Of course it does, Cole. It's like a baseball player chasing the single-season home run record. Each time they get closer to 73, the pressure just gets a little bit more intense. The fist has been dropped. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, Slam down hard. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Oh, impact. Not a good time to be Curtis Axel, fellas. This will go down as one of his hardest fought battles in WWE. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Steel cage matches never fail to surprise and amaze. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. Here is your winner, the Terror. Huge victory here in one-on-one -on -one action. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.